Now, just now we said that having and doubling can undo each other. So, we are going to find out by solving our 74. So, remember when we divide or when we have, we divide the number into 2. So, here we partitioned, we already partitioned our number and then 70, which is our tenths here, divided by 2 is 35. Now let's go to our 1's place value. So 4 divided by 2, of course, is equal to 2. Now, our answer for division is called quotient. Now our quotient here are 35 and 2. So we are going to add our quotient and that will add up or the sum would be 37. Okay, so we are going to solve this using the inverse process. Okay, let us undo our half by doubling. So let me write doubling first. Okay, check by doubling. Okay. So later we are going to find out if our answer here, our answer here at the bottom is going to be the same as 74 here on top. Alright, so 30, let me write the, right, the line. Okay, now we are going to write 37 and then partition this 37 into 30 plus 7. Now, tens place value would be 30 divided by, oh sorry, 30 times 2. Since we are doubling, we are doing times 2. So, that would be 60. Now, 7 times 2 would be 14. Now, 14, later we are going to partition it when we add our products right so 60 plus 10 plus 4 here equals 74 okay so now we know that we can actually really inverse the process or undo multiplication and division or doubling and halving. Alright, so let's go to our next example.